Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is Hannah from the Instagram My Skincare Regime, where I post about skincare products I'm currently using. I also have a blog where I write in depth reviews, for which the link will be down below. Also, if you would like to support the channel on Patreon, there are many perks and benefits such as voting on various polls including YouTube video topics and skincare review polls. You can also be part of the Patreon community, where you get to exclusively see new products I've gotten and hear my early first impressions. I have a lot more perks I am planning on adding in the future. I'll leave the link down below. In this video, I'll be showing you three new serums I received from COSRX. I'll be showing you swatches of each product and provide my first impressions. This is their Retinol Serum, their Vitamin C Serum, and their Vitamin E Serum. All three of these products are unfragranced and there are no essential oils. I like the boxes and how they are colour coded. The boxes contain the bottle and the dropper separately. I think the droppers are packaged separately to preserve the product. For instance, when I opened the Vitamin C Serum to put the dropper in, I heard a popping sound. The boxes show you how long you can use the product for. So the Vitamin E lasts three months after opening. So this is what's inside the box. It's all packaged separately within the box. Now let's get on with the video. First up is the Real Fit Vitamin E Serum E20. This has a pH between 3.5 and 4. It's a hydrating serum with vitamin E and five different seed oils to moisturize dehydrated skin, leaving it glowing with radiance. So this is basically a facial oil that's supposed to reduce redness and help brighten the skin. It contains grapeseed oil, sunflower seed oil, jojoba seed oil, and adansonia digitata seed oil. The formulation is supposed to provide potent vitamin E into the skin, and vitamin E is third on the list, before the oils. This contains 99% pure vitamin E, instead of a derivative, to deliver a potent effect to the skin. As you can see, this is a lightweight facial oil. You're supposed to apply two to three drops onto clean skin. This definitely feels like an oil. I don't get any strong or weird scents. Vitamin E, as we know, is an antioxidant, which protects the skin from daily environmental stresses, such as sun exposure and air pollution. This oil-infused serum is supposed to provide long-lasting moisture to the skin. I don't think oily skins will enjoy this, but I think dry skins would really like it. I do feel a slight oil residue. Next up is the Retinol Serum. Now this contains a retinol ester, retinol palmitate, which is formulated with fatty acids which are quite moisturising. It requires three conversions to get to retinoic acid, which can be used in the skin. Please see more about retinol in my Pixie Retinol video. Retinol palmitate is usually used for people who are too sensitive to using retinol. With the use of retinol palmitate, this serum aims to promote skin cell turnover and to improve one's skin tone. It also helps unclog pores and thicken the dermis to slow down the formation of wrinkles. As you can see, the serum looks quite milky. It's in an emulsion, so it's quite moisturising on the skin. Personally, I would use this after a watery serum. This contains Juniperus Mexicana oil and peanut oil, as well as sunflower seed oil. As you can see, it's quite viscous. I think glycerin provides the milky look. This also contains calendula extract to soothe the skin and betaine, which is moisturizing. Retinol palmitate is in the middle of the list. I do think this is aimed at those who have more sensitive skins and are scared to use retinol, as this has many soothing ingredients to try and offset any of the side effects from retinol. This also contains adenosine and panthenol to soothe the skin. This serum does feel smooth and moisturizing. I think it's quite similar to the Ordinary's Emulsion Retinol Serum. And as Cosrx state, this is a great starter serum for new retinoid users. If you want to start dealing with fine lines and an uneven skin tone. I felt no irritation or burning. Next up is the Real Fit Vitamin C Serum containing 23% pure vitamin C which is ascorbic acid, and propolis to boost radiance and leave the skin looking plump and youthful. This contains 57.5% propolis extract liquid, and this also contains niacinamide which helps brighten the skin. 
This is aimed at those with dull skin and pigmentation, and is supposed to help dry skin. It is also aimed at those with greasy and sensitive skin. This contains Aronia melancarpa fruit extract, as well as Hypophae rhamnoids extract, butylene glycol, and sodium lactate, which contributes to the skin's natural moisturizing factors. This also contains sodium hyaluronate for hydration. And if you want to know more about hyaluronic acid, then please see my previous video. As you can see, the product is not transparent. Although it has a tinge of yellow, it hasn't oxidized. But because this contains pure vitamin C, you do need to use this within two months of opening, and you should store it in the fridge. This is the most lightweight out of the three serums. Instead of water, this uses the propolis extract liquid, and it still means that this serum is very lightweight and watery feeling. As you can see, it's spreadable and it's fast absorbing. I didn't feel any itching or burning sensation either. It smells of ascorbic acid, and it's not sticky either, so I think oily skins could use this just as easily as dry or dehydrated skins. My one complaint is that I wish this was an airtight packaging so I didn't have to use the product up so quickly before it fully oxidizes. But overall, this is a nice product and I like how it hydrates the skin, as well as brightens it. And there you have it, those are the three serums. I think all three are moisturizing and hydrating. The retinol serum is the thickest, the vitamin E feels like a facial oil, and the vitamin C feels like a typical water-based serum, which is probably my favorite texture. Which one is your favorite? What do you like the look of? Please comment down below. And that's it for this video. And if you liked it, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel for future content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!